All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. We got week 12 in the NFL, and we're starting it off with some Thanksgiving action and a Black Friday game as well. We're going to go through each and every one of these four games on the slate. Three Thanksgiving, one Black Friday. I'm going to give you my lean on the spread. I'll give you my lean on the total, but all of my final plays, so I'm actually rolling with myself. Those plays will be in the pin comment if you do want to ride with me or if you do want to fade me now before we get into the picks it's thanksgiving guys and, and i do want to express how thankful i am for the channel and the community we've built um i would not be able to do this without you guys watching and engaging and interacting like that means the absolute world to me i'm a dummy with a microphone and a camera and some audio equipment right like a uh, couple fancy lights like that's all it is but we're all one the same we're all in this community together and you guys are truly what makes sort of the wheels go round um and us gain some traction here so Truly, truly, truly am so thankful for the position you guys have put me in. Not so much myself, you guys have put me in this position. Um, and then outside of videos, outside of YouTube, all that, I really am thankful for, you know, family, friends, and, and sort of the, the cliche things to say, but just because they're cliche doesn't mean you can't say them. So if you have a good friend, you have a good family, like make sure you guys truly feel that thankfulness in yourself because you don't want to take that stuff for granted, man. We lose people all the time. There's people that you probably wish are at this holiday that we're at last ones that aren't at this one like don't take the loved ones don't take friends for granted man try to take nothing for granted but um yeah before we start tearing up here guys i am super thankful for everything um this past year and you know in the past years of this channel you guys are truly uh you guys are truly awesome so thank you guys so much if you guys haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do so right now hit that like button as well and uh yeah let's go ahead and jump into game number one here we got our first thanksgiving day game Game. again three thanksgiving day games one black friday game four games that we're jumping into in today's video we're starting off with detroit hosting the green bay packers detroit eight and two on the season seven and three against the spread this year if you date back to i think it's thanksgiving last year this team has been ridiculous against the spread but seven and three against spread this year they're four and one at home compared to green bay's one and four on the road five and five against the spread and a four and four record now green bay's coming off of a I guess we could say shocking win against the Chargers last week. They went 23-20. And then Detroit kind of got lucky, I would say, with their win as well. They win 31-26, to but um, some late-game heroics, defensive heroics, had to cause that. But nonetheless, uh, starting with the spread in this game, I do think we got to take a peek at Detroit. Like, they are way, way better than this Green Bay team. The only thing that would worry me or has me shaking in my boots is the fact that it's Thanksgiving. Like, do the Packers, you know, anything can happen in this Detroit and Packers type of a, a game right so it's a little a little worrisome but if you even date back here not necessarily on thanksgiving guys but just in general right uh last four games that these two teams have played dating back to january 9th 2022 so going back a little while here two different teams i get that but detroit has one and covered in four straight here and this is probably the worst packers team that we've seen during that time right so i'll take detroit minus the seven and a half points what i might end up doing and right now the alternate line i'm gonna keep an eye on the odds but Detroit minus six and a half is minus 130 over on FanDuel, which seems like it may be worth paying going from that minus 110 um, outside of a touchdown in an extra point range, paying that extra 20 cents per se and going to a six and a half spread. So keep an eye on the pin comment. Definitely something that we might consider in terms of the total here. Uh, this is, you know, this is a Thanksgiving day first game of the day spot. Like I like the under 47 and a half Detroit's defense uh, should be able to handle uh, Green Bay's offense. Jordan Love looked okay, which is crazy to say out loud, okay last week. Um, but Detroit's defense should be able to handle them, right? Not that their defense has been spectacular as of late, but they should be able to handle them. My concern will be, can Green Bay's defense handle Detroit's offense. This is a, a, a team on, in, on the Detroit side of things that is a legit offense. Second in yards per game, uh, fourth in yards per play, fifth in rushing yards, fourth in passing yards. Like, no matter how they want to go about their offensive game, they can find a way to beat you. So hopefully, uh, you know, the, pa the Packers defense can kind of stay in this one uh, because I think we have a recipe for and under on our hands here. So I'll take Detroit, most likely minus six and a half in terms of a lean, as well as the under four. 47 and a half in this spot. I've also seen it at 47 on some books. I think it's 47 and a half on FanDuel right now, 47 on Bet365. So uh, maybe it's something that we want to get in early, right? If we do want that 47 and a half number. But those are the two leans in this spot. We may be 
throwing out some same game parlays for Thanksgiving as well. So keep an eye on that. I will say I'm traveling for Thanksgiving across the country. So the videos may look a little bit different. Um, we're recording this a couple days in advance because we have to. Uh, so keep an eye out for the uh, the shorts on the YouTube and all that. Um, but we will have sort of a different setup for some of our other football videos throughout the week. Now, before we do get into the next game, guys, I do want to talk to you about our deal that we have going on over on the Fade Me store. Fade Me is the merch brand that we have here on the channel. Through Cyber Monday, we have a great deal going on t-shirts up to 40% off. And then we also have a great deal, which is buy a full price hoodie, get a hat for 50% off. You can use code BFHood for checkout at that. But like you'll see here, all of the t-shirts are already marked down. No code needed, but you can use these deals together. You can throw a t-shirt into your cart, throw a hoodie and a hat, and then use code BFHOOD, and you'll get that hat for 50% off. So go ahead and check it out, guys. If you've been considering supporting and buying some merch, no better time to do so than right now with these deals. But let's go ahead and get back to the slate. We got game number two. All right, Dallas taking on Washington. This one's weird to me because this line opened up at like, uh, I think we even saw it at 12 and a half at one point. It's now, I have 11 on the graphic. It's now 10 and a half. So we're looking at obviously a line that is just moving down, down and down, which is uh, a little interesting. It means that, you know, Vegas isn't all that comfortable with people buying up those Washington high numbers, right? So uh, kind of something to think about here. We did catch Dallas minus 10 and a half against the Panthers last week, right? So they're capable of, you know, beating a team by a touchdown and a field goal plus. Um, but does this Washington team keep it to within that? They're better than the Panthers. I have a tough time looking at, you know, if it's an 11 or more point spread, I have a tough time confidently laying that as Dallas, especially like I said, it's primetime Thanksgiving. Like the vibes and the, the feel for the players could be a little bit different. I know that's not a really good reason to bet and it's not analytical, but like we got to understand, right? Like this, this is a, you know, uh, Thanksgiving Day game like it, it's not really uh, that it's not like a normal Sunday like guys routines will be different there's going to be jitters like like rookies you know what I mean so I think that I'm looking not necessarily at this 10 and a half number but if it gets to 11 11 and a half say it starts moving back to where it was I'll sound the psycho alert alarm here. I think I might take those points with Washington in terms of a lean now in terms of a total You'll find this very similar to what I've, I'm have i going to be doing for all of these games fairly or pretty much. I have the same sort of vibe in terms of I don't necessarily see a lot of points being scored here. Uh, we've seen these two teams play plenty of times, obviously, um, you know, whether it's Thanksgiving or in, in, in the division. Um, and very rarely are they looking at these huge point total numbers. Like they have a couple of those in recent history. But last time they played uh, 26 to 6 win for Washington. The time before that, 25 to 10, uh, you know, so I I don't and I don't really want to care to go further back than that. These two teams divisional matchup on Thanksgiving sounds like a recipe for some brute force football, which does not always lead to uh, an over, right? The only caveat I would throw in is that for the first time, and I would say a while, Dallas doesn't necessarily have that, you know, I guess Zeke, but that pounded out type running back that if they get a lead or anything like this, like they can just pound the rock. Like you'll find when Dallas is winning, they're putting up a million points and it's because they keep their offense moving at the same speed. In their wins, they're averaging like 35 points per game scored, right? So if Dallas gets off, off to the races here and beats Washington like they should and all this Thanksgiving drama and the vibe change uh, doesn't happen like I think it will, uh, then I could see Dallas just running away with this. I'm putting a lot of emphasis on the fact that this is a divisional matchup on Thanksgiving, middle of the day, uh, should be sort of a, a, a different type environment where both teams are excited for it and hopefully Washington keeps this close. Because if Washington keeps it close, I think we see an under here. So give me Washington plus the points if we see more of a line movement, right? If this thing gets down to maybe nine and a half the way it's trending right now with Dallas, you might see a play in the pin comment that I'm actually flipping entirely and looking at Dallas because I like Dallas by 10 plus or 10 points potentially, right? Um, but Washington, you know, plus 11 and a half, Washington plus 12, that could tickle my fancy, but I also do like the under in this game. So keep an eye on the pin comment for those plays. 
All right, it is Thanksgiving, and these DFS apps must be thankful for you guys because they are giving many, many deals out there. We'll talk about Sleeper first, and then we got Prize Picks. We have a link to both of these DFS Pick'em apps in the pinned comment. You get 100% of your first deposit match on both of them, but Sleeper throwing out a bunch of free squares, starting off with the Dak Prescott over 0.5 passing yards. We just talked about this game, right? I definitely think that uh, he'll throw for one yard, even though I believe it's going to be an under. I think Dak Prescott can get one yard and Sleeper's going to be throwing out different discounts over the next seven days. So no better time to sign up than now. Like actually no better time to sign up than now. You could get a potential seven discounts if you sign up when you see this first off taking advantage of that deck Prescott Square. And again, you get 100% of your first deposit matched. It's a no-brainer. Speaking of that deal, very similar thing for Christian McCaffrey. They have a free square for him. Will he rush for one yard? Well, he's damn near the best running back in the league. So he better also playing on Thanksgiving here. And same thing, one. 100% of your first deposit match. I talk about these two things together because, guys, I always encourage you to have the most, uh, you know, I guess the, the most variety of sportsbook and DFS apps out there because that's where you can take advantage of odds discrepancies. You can take advantage of different lines. It's really, really important. And these two things are obviously legit apps, right? I have no problem pushing prize picks, no problem pushing sleeper. If you guys are not signed up for those, make sure to go do so. These things are awesome, and we'll be posting tons of sleeper and prize picks content um, in the next few days with YouTube shorts and everything. So keep an eye on that. But again, link for both these in the pinned comment. If you're not on either of them and they're legal in your states, I'd go sign up for both right now. You can literally put in 20 bucks if you want, and they're each going to match your deposit. You'll have a new account balance of 40 bucks, um, or you can go big, you know, put in 100 bucks. They'll each give you 100 free dollars. You have a new account balance of 200. No brainer to me. Go ahead and check it out, guys. Let's go ahead and get back to this slate. Seattle taking on San Francisco. It seems like it might be a trap to me because this San Francisco team is finally getting back to, you know, what I think we all thought they would be or should be. Um, obviously, they went through a rough patch, and, and that's fair. I think every team, you know, unless you're one of those, you know, undefeated teams and whatnot, shout out to the, the Patriots that end up losing in the Super Bowl there. Shout out to you guys as a Patriots fan. Um, but, you know, every team's going to go through some sort of a, a rough patch, and, and the 49ers did. They certainly went through one. They played Cleveland, Minnesota, and Cincinnati and lost those games. The offense looked terrible. But now we have two games in a row against two pretty good defenses. 34 dropped on Jacksonville's head. 27 dropped on Tampa Bay's head. In two games that they weren't even close in and you have a Seattle team that seems like they're trending in the wrong direction and they in, in the opposite direction I should say too right um so I'm gonna lean towards San Francisco minus the six and a half here I do think that this is a spot in which uh you know maybe people are putting too much emphasis on uh you know I, I guess the the divisional uh, aspect of it because this San Francisco team just seems out of this world compared to almost any other team in the league right now. Like, uh, obviously, we saw Monday Night Football, uh, Chiefs and Eagles play, and that was a close game and everything like that. Um, San Francisco, those are the only other two teams that I would even say are kind of in the atmosphere. Maybe I'm drawing a blank right now, but this team is head and shoulders better than Seattle. Um, does the fact that it's Thanksgiving, because I've been preaching that all video long, right? I own I own what I say. Does the fact that it's Thanksgiving throw that sort of wrench into the, the, the thing where maybe these guys are anxious and it's a closer game and there's nerves? Maybe, but man, this San Francisco team seems so far above all that stuff. So give me San Francisco minus the six and a half. In terms of the total, uh, I like... I like the under yet again, 43 points. Like guys, I, I, I don't know what it'll end up being, but out of these four games, I, I feel like 75% of them, three of them will be unders just because of, of the, uh, the electric atmosphere of Thanksgiving and everything like that. But I could see this being like a, a almost like a, I guess you could say 21 to, to 14 game where San Francisco's offense doesn't even look like it has looked, but they outplay Seattle all game. And Seattle, it's not even that crazy to say they'll only score 14 points. They've scored uh, 16 or less in three of their last six games here. They scored three points against Baltimore. And yes, Baltimore's a great defense, but it's not like San Francisco's no bad defense, right? Like that's a legitimate defense too. So um, I'll lean towards the under again, but I laugh at it because it's it's like, why am I putting so much emphasis on these, these Thanksgiving-esque primetime spots we've already seen primetime games go under like you read about the season i feel like thanksgiving primetime's on another level so we'll see how it plays out but give me san francisco minus the six and a half in the under 43
All right, Jets, Dolphins here in Black Black Friday football. That sounds weird to say out loud, but Black Friday football here. We have the Jets taking on the Dolphins. Right now, Jets getting 10 points, which that is a huge number to lay. Uh, Miami, honestly, like, yes, they're the, they're as good as they are. Um, they're not as good against, and we saw a bunch of comments last week too, so shout out to you guys, but we saw a bunch of comments of, of this Miami team struggles when they play good teams, which is true, right? Um, so if you are on the Miami side of things, I would consider looking at a different line, maybe eight and a half, seven and a half. You're going to have to pay some juice, but 10 points is a lot to lay. Uh, they failed to cover that in three of their last four games as 10 point favorites, whereas the Jets win 10 point favorites or more. They've covered it in seven of their last 10 and the Jets. Yes, they looked pretty bad. Um, against the uh, against the the Bills, and we don't necessarily have an exact starter named. I think I saw Trevor Simeon's name thrown around for them at quarterback. So this is all sort of like what the hell is about to happen. But I'm kind of trusting that this Jets defense keeps their crap together. So let's sound the psycho alert alarm. <laughs> It's crazy, but I think I'm looking at the Jets plus the 10 points. That is absurd, and I recognize that. But like I said, if you are on the Miami side of things, it would be something that I consider maybe trying to tease down or get a better line because 10 points seems like a lot, especially if uh, this is the Jets team at home, divisional game. Um, and, and and not that, you know, I, I just mentioned how Miami plays bad against uh, good teams. The Jets are not a good team. Do not get me wrong. But I do think that 10 points is a hell of a lot to lay, um, especially when you have a team that, you know, I think the last time they played, which obviously teams are different then, absolutely low scoring game it was like 10 to 6 right so so uh give me the the plus 10 in this spot but it's just as much kind of fading the fact that i don't want to lay 10 points as it is i'm eating up those 10 points with the jets in terms of the total uh this is one where you know i want to lean towards the under because to keep that theme but 40 seems a little bit low to me um and it's kind of a safety net it, it may counter the play that i'm talking about uh you know with the spread which i like the jets plus 10 but a 40 point total with the with Miami at any point seems like it could be a fair play to go out there and throw it now their offense hasn't looked all that great 14 points against Kansas City 20 against Las Vegas I do think that obviously they kick it back into the gear but 20 or less in three of the last four games isn't the best sign but I do kind of think that you know this could be a spot in which um, you know 41 points are scored low scoring game grinded out type game Jets keep it closed that type of thing like like even if this is uh you know I guess you could say, uh, what, 21 to, to 20. You wouldn't necessarily say that this is the cleanest of games, right? The Jets easily cover their number, but it's still an over by one. So uh, keep an eye on the pinned comment. This is obviously, I would say, now it's Black Friday, so are we going to be pressured to bet it? Perhaps. But out of the three uh, Thanksgiving Day games, throwing this one into the mix, I, I think I'm less excited about this one, but it, it, it is what it is. But uh, guys, that's what we have for you in today's video. Again, we're going to be traveling, so hopefully we can get some more content out to you guys. Just keeping up with the NBA plays and everything like that uh, go check out the fade me store guys fade me dot store and then go check out sleeper as well as prize picks if you're still watching this right now go ahead and comment 17 let me know that you are a real one and again i am so freaking thankful for everything that we've built together and you guys just as much as me and i and i mean that so thankful 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 guys comment 17 let me know that you're still watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one all right peace out